Right. Uh, this young man's here. He's standing here, and he hasn't got anything to cook. Is this how you run a place? No, I don't, I don't run a place like this, all right? Why did it take me to let you know that he's standing there playing with radishes? Because, um... I You're busy. That's a horrible thing to say, but I was busy at the front there, yes. Oh, right. He was alluding to my relationship with the waitresses. Yeah, you get off on it. Girl stroking your hair, <laughs> massaging yeah. your fucking ego. You're such a fake. I'm not fake, I'm just... Why, why are you saying I'm a fake? You've got members of your team standing here getting paid doing fuck all. I've never met a general manager so shit as you. Okay. If this was your money, would you let him stand here playing with no. his dick? That's what you're doing here, isn't it? You're riding Mohammed, you know. You're skinning that poor man. Yes, you fucking are. You're taking advantage of a weak, rich man. That's what's just fucking clicked in my mind. He got personal. He was accusing me of riding Mohammed, this type of thing. And that got me, because how the hell have you got the right to say something to me that you don't even know me? We've got more staff than customers tonight, and we still can't get it fucking right. General manager. General Toss Park. What is going on back there? This is seriously the worst service I've ever had to say. An hour and a half into dinner service, and only a few dishes have made their way to customers, who are not exactly thrilled with Dylan's dining experience. This is raw, so. Thank you very much. I don't like eating with flies swarming around me. And those who haven't received food are getting ready to leave. In two minutes, we're leaving. And you know, we ask, like, seriously, two minutes, we're leaving. What else I can do for you right now, so that will make you happy? Tell me that. Food. You tell me. Food. I'm sorry, ladies. Or I can discount your bill. You can go. This is ridiculous. It's day two, and Gordon has already been appalled by the food and dismayed by the inadequate management. Time to do the thing I've been dreading most, yeah? Getting into the kitchen. I am not looking forward to this part. When were these changed last? Uh, that one, he... Well, at least the no. flies look fresh. Oh, my God. I have no idea why is the flies. There was a lot of flies here. What is that? I don't know what it is. You don't know? Moldy. That is, quite frankly, the worst hamburger I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, my God. These were my fucking potatoes for lunch. Will you do me a favor? Yes. Eat that. Thank God I sat the little fucker down to eat them. That's not a potato. Green chicken. Oh. What goes on down here? For God's sake! Look at that! Look! Cockroaches. Holy shit! As Chef Michael continues to fight the battles alone in the kitchen, nice to meet you, Lisa. owner Dean and manager Tom are in their own world in the front of the house. Just another day in paradise, huh? Hi, how are you? Perfect. I think I might have a beer with you. Oh, really? Cheers. Cheers. Say the truth. There is no place like this in Pennsylvania. There's no place uh, like home. Uh, as the manager here, I do whatever it takes to keep the place running as smoothly as possible. And where's your strengths? Your strengths in what? Hopefully the entrees will come soon. They should be. That's true. An hour into dinner service, and the overly embellished dishes finally emerge from the kitchen. Mike tries to presentate the food real nice. What's this crack here with calamari in the martini glass? Okay, we're just trying different presentation because the, the dishes we have suck. Suck? I can't believe you'd be so fucking polite. Holy mackerel. I don't even know what to tell you. And neither Gordon or the customers are impressed. I think my is too much garlic. OK. Is it cold? Is there enough sauce on these cashew chickens? Yes, there is. I'll put more. When it just becomes a job, not that you don't care, not that you don't put any effort, but it's just the same shit every day. By the way, the, 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 the paper's edible. I've never had my dinner served to me in a brown paper bag. I don't know why the fries are looking remarkably shitty tonight. In your business right now, yeah. I wish that was the only problem, a fucking french fry. 
Is it cold? Send it back. Send it back, yeah. Excuse me. Are they okay? Yeah. Just okay? Just okay. Just okay. With food now being sent back to the kitchen, already behind, Michael is now totally overwhelmed. I need a risotto and a tilapia, and that's done. And Dean is not helping the problems, but adding to them. I got backed up because there was too much at once. Oh my God! Overcooked. Come on, come on, get this to get this to 28 over right now, Mikey. The risotto, it's overcooked. God damn it! You got me very frustrated. Let the customer wait. If he waits 20 minutes and he's happy, or he waits 20 minutes and gets crap, what's worse? Let him wait 20 minutes and be happy. Give me that dish, man. Please send it out right now. Michael. Yes, sir. Are you happy with that risotto? Not really, chef, no. Michael, if you're not happy with it, why'd you serve it, my man? Chef to chef now. What? Forget, forget, forget Dean. Where's, where's the tilapia? That's huh? what I want right in now. In the oven. Yeah. Dean, he's the owner. Ultimately, it's his decision. Hey. Yeah. Right now, I just want to get people their food. You What's the matter food? with this? It's very salty. Mushroom risotto. Let me try some. Your risotto taste is disgusting. Yeah, you should send it back. Does it make you feel better if we rush this to the table? No. I'm trying to ask the chef about some form of standard, and you're just like, get the fucking shit out of here. Because the lady asked me three times for food. Yes. I'm amazed. You know that more than anything. I don't know. I don't know what you, I don't know what you want me to say to you. Your restaurant is on the ass. That's what I'm. But it's done. About. It's done, Gordon. It's done. I love the facade you put across it. You know it's that. It's not a facade. It's yes, it is. No, it's not. Yeah. Actually, we were just going to ask you about the risotto. Um, I think it's really salty. I don't really like the taste of it at all. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, thank you. The risotto is really good. What did they say? It was a little salty. Salty. They sent back your favorite dish, the risotto. OK, just, just smell it, though, Tina. Oh, that's right. Would we really serve that? No. But doesn't this fall under the chef's job? Well, where are the fuckers? This is your fridge yeah, listen, in the middle you're, of you're your really... fucking business. Can we get out of here before yeah. I catch something? Yeah. I feel terrible. It's like, you know, telling somebody telling you your kid is ugly. This is ridiculous here. Hey, hold on a minute. Oh, fuck. Hey. The walk-in box is a mess. But you know what? That walk-in box is exactly how we felt about working in the kitchen. It's like blame everything on me. If blame we're buying the big it. fires in Chicago, Hurricane Katrina, 9-11, what the fuck? I mean, I've never seen something like this. Stop just, acting like a fucking baby. I'm not acting like a baby. Yes, just you throw are. everything on me because but it's like, you know what? Here. I Don't take it, number one, me. I want me. the place clean. OK, so clean End it. End the fucking story. Clean it, guys. Please clean the place. You're embarrassing me. I've never seen something like this. This is unbelievable. Before Gordon does anything else, he wants to make sure the kitchen is spotless. How we doing, ladies? I believe Peter is a core problem of the restaurant's dysfunction, and he isn't concerned much about anybody else but himself. The kitchen is now cleaner than it's been in years, so Gordon can turn his attention to observing tonight's dinner service. And reservations, what have we got booked? We're really, uh, what do we have? Some, uh, There's nothing in there. Business is, is, is rough, it's hurting. I may have to sell my watch. I've got $20. So it's fake. Fake. The only thing that's fake is my teeth. They're fucking white. They're white, they're bleached. How much does that cost? A thousand a visit. I just brush mine twice a day. Fuck it now. But it goes well with a brown tan. Well, you know, you somewhat. Yeah. I'd rather buy a new fucking stove. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit. It's been such a long time since I have good equipment here. It's bothering me, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's not my restaurant. What doesn't work? All these stove tops here don't work. The broiler doesn't work proper. This, this oven does not work. We use it as storage. We keep our towels and stuff in here. When was the last time a new piece of equipment was bought in this kitchen? Yeah, they never put a nickel into this place. Peter is a lot more proud of his car than he is his fucking restaurant. Absolutely. That kitchen is the heart of the restaurant. When that's hurt, it's like a clogged artery. You're going to have a big problem. 
With so much of the kitchen equipment not working, it's almost impossible for the chefs to do their jobs. And their frustration has been felt by the rest of the staff. Okay, Where's my uh, Portofino? They're coming, but don't keep asking for them. Don't ask for them one more fucking time. When there's a chaotic night here, I have Robert screaming. When the fishes are ready, that's when they're going to come out. He's an excellent chef. But he's crazy. Take them, take this out. <laughs> fucking gotta keep asking for the fucking food. Can you see if my friend the doctor wants another bottle of wine on, uh, sure. Yeah. Can you folks another bottle of wine on Peter? Are you all right? Who's got C5? Me. Hi. Uh, buy them, uh, uh, an after dinner drink on Is the doctor comp tonight? Is he? The doc, the doctor's comped. Do you take care of it personally, or do you put it on the business? It goes off the top. It's an expense. How can I not? I mean, the guy, you know, the guy takes care of me. It's only business. I think they said that in The Godfather. I can charge my doctor. Trust me, he earns enough. Yeah. It's like a little meeting place here. Yeah, a little meeting huh? place, yeah. Shame nice. no one's spending money. The combination of Peter spending a great deal of money on himself and giving away free meals has put the family business in jeopardy. <laughs> Fuck me. You got water? I'm surprised you guys are still alive. <coughs> he just choked on your mother's cookie. Ooh. I mean, I don't have an answer. I don't. Yes. Before Gordon passes on his comments to the chef and the owners, he decides to observe a dinner service to get a more complete picture of the problems in the restaurant. The New England clam chowder smells fishy. Hot roast and it's cooked and recooked and recooked. It's a little bit too pinky for me. Is it? I like it well done. Sure, sure, whatever you like. Yeah, it's a little cold. I'm telling you, it's, it's cold. It is cold. This is so sad. So fucking sad. With customers complaining in the restaurant, Gordon looks to the owner to solve the problems. Sir, like I said, if you think I scammed, do me a favor. Do what you got to do. But I would have appreciate normal, one this? thing before you make the phone call. Not in front of customers. Get in here. Fuck it now. My god. Oh, my. After being disappointed with the front of the house, it was time to check out the engine room of the restaurant, the kitchen. Doug, yeah. he said this is cold, and feel the plate. It is cold. No, it's not cold. It's not. Hey, guys, these plates are stone cold. If the plate was cold, would you take it out, Diane? Yeah. You would. They put it up, I take it. Fuck me. No, it's all right. I don't worry about it. What's your uh, fascination with the parsley on the plate? I, 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 I just happen the way like the parsley looks, to be honest with you. It stinks. It's dried parsley. Yeah. It's a sign of a dated Russian. Sprinkle it on your wife, but not on the fucking plates. Yeah. He may not like the way I cook. If he doesn't like the way I cook, that, that's his opinion. Oops. Oh, God. Why aren't they cleaning it? I got a few pieces. This is extraordinary. Stop there. Come here. How fucking can you walk past that shit, pay them to work in it? Yeah. I mean, he just spilled a, bu a bucket of fucking tomato sauce. Why can't you say something to him about cleaning up his mess? Oh. Chef Doug is not listening to a word I say. But sometimes I'm not in the mood. What is going on? Oh, no, he's got a mop. Peter, Peter. One second. Did you hear what I said? I heard you. I didn't ask you to go mop up their shit. You used to doing it? Oh, God. That's yeah, not the right answer, bud. What a sad fuck. Oh, uh, can I clean it now? While Peter cleans up the mess on the floor. When was the last time this place was clean? Gordon realizes that this is part of a bigger problem. I am tired of Mike taking half the money from the tip cup. That's not fair. Goodbye. Thank, Goodbye. You. Thank you. Despite the success of the new specials, the staff is unhappy with their tips, and all fingers are pointing toward Mike. 
you find a table, you latch on, and then the rest of us bust our butts to get your tables and our tables done, and then you take a half like of our tips. Can I, can I, can I say something? Do you think you would have those tips if I wasn't here? When people come in here, everybody knows me. The customers know me and all you guys know that. People know me the best because I make it a point of making friends with the customers and that's what customers want. They want to feel special. Mike thinks this is his restaurant. He is an employee here. Fucking unbelievable. Okay, time to get real. When I ask you to wake up in terms of running the fucking business, sometimes you run it as if you own the place. And the reason why you do that is because, Billy, you are too weak. And, least, if it sounds crap, open up and say it. I'm what? nervous that everybody's sitting here with their thumbs up their asses and not doing what they're supposed to be doing. I don't think right now that's the right attitude. I think we should have a positive attitude. I mean, be realistic. When I'm busting my own tables and everybody else is running around crazy... We are aware of what the problems were. And I think that we should move forward and put the damn past behind us. You're kind of talking to yourself right now. I'm talking. I, this is how I feel. I'm not even verbalizing These are things you feel. need to do. I, I, I'm fighting for my life here. You right now need to step up to the plate and make the changes every freaking day, every minute of the day. That's it. Billy, that's the first time you've sounded like a boss because it's your fucking life on the line. Don't ever forget that. Hey, he's laughing again. If you're carrying the weight that this guy and his wife has on their shoulders, you wouldn't fucking smirk. Tomorrow, the most important day in 10 years. We're gonna implement changes to help get this business turned around if this doesn't work after tomorrow. The blame is on your shoulders, Mike.